Welcome back to PWA for Beginners. We're still in Chapter 3, and then today we're going to show you how to use some of the best developer tools to get started. Here with me again is Justin. Um, and then let's just go ahead and get started talking about these tools, right? I know that sure. there are a couple tools that we want to introduce today. What are they? Yeah, so it's all tools from like the PWA Builder team, of course. Um, PWA Starter is what we'll start off with. Um, so basically, we're going to go like, you know, I don't have any code at all to, you know, uh, hopefully by the end, uh, an app in the in the Microsoft Store and on the web. Um, so we're going to start off with no code base and 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 then go to the PWA starter to show how that can set up everything that we need to to get started. And then we'll go on to our VS Code extension, PWA Builder Studio, to um, once we actually like get into you know building our application. Cool. Yep. Um, so let's show them. Show what? How do we? How do I get start with PWA starter yep. to build my app? So yeah, so I think the best way to get started with the PWA starter is just going to GitHub. Um, so github.com dash or slash PWA dash builder and then um, slash PWA starter. Um, so if you've ever used like, you know, create React app or like the Angular CLI or something like that, you'll know that you can like write a command and then boom, it gives you this code base that's ready to go. Um, but it's, so our, our setup is, our, our template is kind of the, a similar thing, but it's mainly just based through GitHub and then, as I said, our VS Code extension that we'll talk about. Um, so just like in, with any other template on GitHub, you can you know, go and hit the screen button that says, use this template. It's kind of self-explanatory in a way. And then, of course, you can go to create new repository. I'm going to have to sign in real quick, which is annoying. Cool. All right, so at this point, I've you know hit that that green button that said create a new PWA. I would go in and just like in, you know any other repository, put in uh, whatever I want to call my app, which we're just going to go with test PWA for this one. Um, we'll make it public, and now you know at this point I haven't like installed a CLI, I haven't written any commands, I haven't even opened my terminal up yet, um, but I now have a code base that's ready to go. So I haven't had to set up like all the decision anxiety that comes with like setting up a new, uh, a new application. Um, like what is a bundler? What bundler do I use? Um, how do I do like production builds? How do I do a manifest? How do I do a service worker, et cetera, right. et cetera, et cetera. Um, it all is just set up for you and all you have to do is hit a couple of buttons. Um, so at this point, you would then obviously um, either clone it to your device just like any other GitHub repo or you could of course use code spaces. Um, once you do that, um, so I'm not going to clone it for the demo, obviously, because that takes a minute. But this is what you would get once you have cloned the repo. Um, when you do clone it, it'll also like install your dependencies and that kind of stuff. And then at that point, you can, of course, just open up your terminal. If you don't already have one open in VS Code, you can do Control Shift P, and you can see the uh, command there: Terminal, create new terminal. Okay, so yeah, so now you know we've cloned it. It's in my it's in my VS Code at this point. Um, so as you can see, we have a full code base. I haven't had to set anything up. We have all of our dependencies, we have like all of our code, our bundler, all that good stuff. Um, so at this point, I could then run npm run dev. Of course, you could also, if you you know like to click buttons, you can go up and hit run and hit start debugging to do the same thing. Um, and what this is going to run is your dev server. So just like with any other you know web kind of setup, your dev server will, as you can see, serve your application in Edge or you know whatever your default browser is, cool. and then you can start developing from here. Um, and yeah, now we have a full code base that we can start. Um, let's actually dive into just a little bit of code here real quick. And yeah, so this is our header component, just like any other header component. It is a web component using uh, a library called lit. Um, but if you've used like React or even Angular before, it'll look pretty similar. And there are also um, other like web component library as well. We chose this because we think um, you know, lit is a good start for beginners. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, we've heard feedback from our community, and that's actually another thing too. It's like, so the the starter isn't like tools that we just like magically decided one day that we like. Um, this, you know, all, everything that you will find in the starter has been set up based on feedback from like the community, feedback from other team members, right? Feedback from our partners, etc. Um, and putting all that together into things that really made sense and ease of use and give you, you know, a performance production ready thing at the end once you're ready. Awesome. What are the other things that we need to go through the project and talk about, I guess, from the starter perspective? Is that all? Yeah. I guess we're ready to go. We I'm, we really just had a GitHub account, right? And then downloaded the template yep. and then run it. Uh, basically just npm run dev and yeah. there so, it is. Yep. So it so far goes. really the only requirement is have a code editor of some sort and have a GitHub account and cool. you're ready to go. All right. Um, 
before we switch gear, I guess you were also talking about other than PWA starter, we can also use something called the VS Code extension. Yes. Um, is that also like starting a project or what can we do with the code extension? Yeah, it's a really good question. So you can, so everything that I just did there, you know, was through GitHub. So, cause I wanted to start with like, you don't have anything installed. Um, but if you do install our VS Code extension, so it's PWA Builder Studio. If you just search PWA Builder on like um, the VS Code Marketplace, you can find it. Um, and yeah, what that gives us is it kind of gives us all the tools that we would need while we're building our progressive app, including actually all the way to packaging it, um, but in our code editor. So like, you know, generating icons, web manifests, service workers, um, packaging your application and auditing. Let's actually just jump in and show it actually. Sure. Um, so uh, matching Beth's otter suit, <laughs> our, uh, our um, mascot is uh, Manny the web otter or Beth Short the web for otter. Manifest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yeah, if you just look for the otter icon in the, uh, in the left side there, along with all your other extensions, um, this is going to um, first audit my application. So uh, it's going to make sure that we have basically the things we need for installation, a web manifest, a service worker. Um, and right now you can see it's looking for those. If we do have them, it's going to audit them. And we should here in just a minute get kind of a list of those things. Yeah, and I know behind the scenes, uh, you can actually, if you didn't start from mm -hmm. GitHub, you can start with your extension and sure. start an app that uses the PWA starter behind the scenes as yep. well, right? Yeah, for sure. So if you cool. if you click on our extension, you, it'll load up, and then you can do um, Control Shift P again to bring up the uh, command prompt or whatever you want to call it in VS Code. Um, and actually, you can if you just start typing the name of our extension, PWA Studio. You can see all the commands. Um, all the commands, yep. Cool. And then do PWA would do what we literally just did in GitHub, but not without having to leave VS Code. So it, it clones it and all that kind of stuff behind the scenes, but we would get the same thing at the end of the, in, end of the uh, That's command. That's awesome, having yep. some options. So now I can see that on the left side, there are some um, panels that show me kind of like an auditing of the existing Progressive Web App, right? Like, sure. tell me a little bit more about those. Yeah, so, um, so as we'll get into kind of, I think, in later on in another video, um, there are a couple of things you need for your PWA to be uh, like installable from the browser and also store ready. So um, web manifest and service worker and HTTPS are kind of the, the like three requirements. Yeah. Um, so the web manifest is will be audited by PWA Butter, and you can you can kind of see you can go through and everything that is checked off is something that you already have. If you use the starter to get started, you already have all of this, so it's ready to go. Awesome. But if you don't, you can easily um, go in and add, and you can click like the info icon to understand more about like what does icon specify their size mean, that kind of thing. Um, and then, yeah, of course, we have our little warning symbols over here, too, for things that we don't have. Um, and we can learn more about those and add them if we want. And actually, if we open up our package or our manifest.json, um, we can do things like, uh, like what does start URL mean, right? And we can hover over the start URL and get a little bit, a, a little blurb about like what is the start URL. So and everything is at one more. place yeah. where you're learning and building and testing. They're all there for yep. you. Cool. All right in VS Code. Yep. Sounds good. Great. Um, so what are the next steps? So now I can see my web manifest has all these check marks, and there are two things. Maybe I can go check it out on the web. Yep. Uh, I can see my service worker is ready to yep. go also in the panel right, right below it, yep. right? Cool. Um, and then I think the one last thing that P P uh, what's it called, P Builder Studio Visual Studio Code Extension, <laughs> which is a long name, can do is actually helping you package your for sure your apps. But we can talk about that later yep. in the later video. Okay, yep. cool. Cool. Thank you so much. So yeah, those are the two, um, you know, toolings that we kind of introduce you to. One is called the P Starter Template. The other one is the Visual Studio Code Extension. Uh, different ways for you to get started. Um, choose your own poison. <laughs> <laughs> and they all fit together, too, of course. <laughs> awesome. So here on the screen are, as usual, some of the resources that you can go explore on your own to learn more about PWAs. And thank you, Justin, for showing yeah, us the demos best. of those tool, tool, uh, tools. And in the next video, we'll be covering things like how to debug your progressive web app now that you've started uh, using Edge Dev Tools. Yep.